I am standing inside the historic Murray Hill Theater with the man who brought this place to birth it, I guess, my man Tony. So thanks for spending a little time with me. Oh, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Now, I mean, people know some of the history of Murray Hill, but we were talking. You told me how you created or how you envisioned this venue. Give us the short version. Well, let's start back when it uh, was under construction in 1947 to be a single screen movie theater. And it showed movies until 1993. So it was a single screen movie theater for many years. And then unfortunately, the Murray Hill neighborhood went into decline. So the theater closed and it got uh, dilapidated and it was run down. And basically, let's just say I had a calling to buy the building and form a live music venue that I didn't know that would last six months or six years. And we're in our 25th year of bringing music here to the Murray Hill Theater. 25 years and some band of the biggest bands across the world, across America have graced this stage. But what really appeals to a lot of the people that come to this venue is it's so family friendly. It is. It is a very family friendly venue. It is kind of unique and, and, um, and, and we're proud of that and we purposely program it. Even though it's all styles of music, we really focus on the very positive and the faith-based music and it's a, it's, a, it's a place that anybody can come and enjoy. And you also said, so we talked about it, you guys are a non-profit. People are like, wait, a music venue, that's a non-profit, but you're really good with that as well. It is. And, and, and part of the reason it's a non-profit and part of the, part of the reason I did the music, because I, when I was 20 years old, I was trying to find a place that was lively and active and happening, but didn't serve alcohol because I was drinking too much and was trying to find a place to, to, to start walking the straight and narrow, let's say. And I found a place that provided live music without alcohol. And when I was a 20 year old for a couple of years, I went there every week and it was just a, a godsend for me. And then I left for college and worked in Chicago for a couple years before coming back. And when I came back, I found out that that little venue had shut down. And I thought, man, that's too bad. Somebody ought to do something like that. And I spent like eight years thinking, you know, somebody ought to do something like that. And, um, and literally I was on a church retreat and I felt like God said I should do something like that. So, so without, but without the alcohol sales, that's why we, we made it a nonprofit because we knew that's what would keep the bills paid. So with the nonprofit, we can get support from individuals and businesses and things like that. And, uh, that's really what's kept us alive is the support from the community because um, it, it is hard to keep a venue open without alcohol sales, but we've done it. We've lasted the test of time and we've had a blast here and uh, we've had an impact not only on the neighborhood. Murray Hill is one of the hottest neighborhoods now and I believe it all started once we cleaned up the building, cleaned up the neighborhood and now it's a hot neighborhood and uh, bands from all over the country and the world come here, in including local bands and, and I'm, I'm just excited that we're in our 25th year and people have supported us. So. Well, this place is definitely an anchor and coming up in just a little bit, bit, one of the biggest local bands to pop up out of Jacksonville will be gracing this stage, the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. But before we go, where's, if people want to know more information in your schedule, where can they go online? All our information is on our webpage at murrayhilltheater.com, the schedule if you're in a band that want to play here, and uh, all sorts of information about us. So check out murrayhilltheater.com. I will be back. You guys, make sure you come back.